Well, y'all get ready because we got a heck of a show this weekend. We went to Oklahoma to get up with Two Rivers Hunting Adventures just outside of Durant, Oklahoma. It was a long ride from the Carolinas, but man, we are sure glad we went. I uh, took Haley and Beth and John and myself. We jumped in a Jeep, hit the highway. Come with us and let's go catch some hogs. tell we got a little crazy in the jeep you figure 18 hours four of us jammed up in that thing we drove all night and most of the morning to get to uh, Duran Oklahoma where we met up with Lane and uh, we got together with him followed him down to the ranch where we met uh, Cassidy Chris and Jeremy uh, once we got to the operation uh, we just uh, set up the tent we got all our gear together. We just kind of talked a little bit of what they had going on and and uh, just introduced ourselves. They welcomed us with open arms and uh, we jumped right on getting the gear on and uh, throwing a tent up so when we got back from the hunt we'd have somewhere to lay down. But once we got everything together, time to go find some hogs. y'all we finally made it from the 704 right here in Oklahoma we got Chris Cassidy Jeremy and Lane they're gonna show us they're gonna catch some big old hogs here in Oklahoma uh, we heard about these big hogs we've seen some videos we're excited to hunt with these guys brought the girls down see if we can't smack some big ones what you guys got going on over here we're gonna put y'all on some Oklahoma hogs and teach y'all how we do it Oklahoma style there you go. Oh, you saw me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
We hope y'all come back. We'll put you on some more too. The weekend ain't over with. Oh, yeah, this is first hog, started. first night. We we just getting started. Oh yeah. Down here. You got a good boar hog now. If we can go have some big old fat juicy hamburgers. Wake up in the morning, catch them again, two river style. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Y'all need help with dogs? Oh. Uh, I don't know what to say right now. So. Awesome. Get out. Oh, Jake. That was awesome. So glad I came here. Uh, oh, I don't know if I could have flipped him. I fell in that hole. I thought it was a Come on. As fast as you can pull it. <laughs> Low ground.
he was right here running and he come and he crossed right here. And I got them pictures of him right there on that hillside. He's right there. Hell, this ain't even where we was gonna hunt. We were gonna take you about five miles north. So we still got some pigs up there probably. Yesterday and today in less than an hour hunting. And that right, Jeremy? Yes, sir. Let's go after number three. Let's get these dogs out of here. These boys know what they're doing, that's for sure. Hey, hey! Okay. Kind of luck of the draw here. We, I was coming to camp and saw this hog cross the road. And uh, we was able to get on him real quick. We wasn't even planning on hunting this spot or anywhere around here today. So we're going to get him loaded up. We're going to go to the spot we was planning on going and see what happens. Yeah, this right here is what you get when you come hunting with two rivers, son. Check her out. Look at them cutters. 704 Outdoors, baby. I know, it was real exciting. I'm real happy with it. I just want to thank y'all guys for putting me on this hog. Oh, yeah. We sure glad y'all came. It's a good one. Let's go get some more. Hey, yeah. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, let's get on up the road. Sure, Mac, no. Go up the Blue River. Like we might get all kinds of shit.
He's big as he is. Look at that. Look at them top ones, boys. This hog number two for the day. Came up here on a different spot, about five miles from where we got the first one. Lucked out, got in here on him. He was baited up in some pretty thick stuff, but we was able to get in there and get a hold to him and get a stick on him. So awesome. let's get out there and do it again. Yeah, we had a blast. Uh, we're absolutely loving having 704 down here. They're real good people. You ought to get them to go hunt with y'all. I mean, you love them. I appreciate it. Been having a blast. This is an awesome looking hog. I appreciate it. <laughs> we glad y'all came. Let's get another one. another one. Two or three. We want Earl Dibble Jr. on that video. <laughs> Sunbathing with his Pocahontas knife. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
place. Oh. Yep, number three for the day. Number four for our trip. It's been a pretty good hog. He put us on a little bit of a race. Didn't know if we was going to get him stopped, but it worked out pretty nice. Sure is a good one. Yeah, I want to thank all these boys down here, Two Rivers Hunting Adventures. Man, this was one heck of a hunt. This hog right here put up a fight from hell. Got down in the creek and the dogs couldn't stop them. Uh, we had him on him, and, uh, but the only thing is we didn't have a cat's dog on it. Cassidy kept telling me, he ain't got a cat's dog on him. We didn't hop on him in the creek, but uh, we run probably, what, 100 yards, so, 200 yards, before we finally caught him. Uh, guys, these boys know what they're doing. They got the dogs. If you guys want to come on a good hunting trip, the Two Rivers Hunting Adventures out here in Oklahoma, man. 704 Outdoors approved. <laughs> <laughs> best, hunt ever. best hunt. Heck yeah. Well, the boy said we got enough time for another hunt. Let's go. We're going to see if we can get another one. That make hog number five. Heck yeah. All right, we out here. We've been hunting all weekend. We've had a long weekend at that. Caught three big hogs today. Got one bigger last night. Haley here. Got in there. Leg the first one to kill it herself. And then everybody else here at 704 Outdoors, I mean, they're pig sticking suckers. You got to watch them. I mean, it's <laughs> unbelievable. They stick them hogs, and them hogs just gone. I mean, she gone. And, uh, I mean, we've had a blast. We hope they come down again. We cannot wait for them to come down again, matter of fact. And uh, hope it carries on for a long time. We make good friends. They're real good people. We love them to death. And, uh, like I said, we had a blast. Can't wait for it to come again. And for everybody that watches this, the hogs speak for themselves, people. It's two rivers hunting adventures. You ain't gonna find a better time. Yeah, it was a blast, that's for sure. I'm so glad we made this drive up down here and did this. I couldn't have asked for a better experience. I'm super excited to, to go home to our hometown and show these show these boys off. Super excited with our kill. Well, as y'all know, we've hunted all over the southeast, everywhere, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, South Carolina, Georgia. We've been everywhere. We've got dogs of our own. And I can tell you what, these guys right here, they know what they're doing. They know their business. They know their dogs. These are probably the best pack of dogs I've probably run with in a long time, guys. And I'm telling you what, these hogs, just look at them. The first night we got here, we got out of the truck. We started with old Freak Nasty over there. And from then on, it just started big bore after big bore after big bore. And it's just, this is not high fence. This is fair chase. We got on a four-wheeler, hit several different farms. They've got access to thousands of acres around here. And uh, these boys know where they're at. Top-notch guide service, I'm telling you guys. We, we started out just trying to help our neighbors, uh, farmers and ranchers, getting eat up with hogs. Thousands of dollars of damage every year. And it's it grew to where every week we've got a different farmer calling us, wanting us to come hunt, wanting us to get hogs off of him. And we've turned that into a business and we just there's so much opportunity for growth here. We can't wait. Listen, you guys are damn good at what y'all do, I tell you what. I'm telling you as far as dog hound is concerned, Lane, Jeremy, Cassidy, and Chris here, boy, they know what they're doing. Y'all guys want a good trip? Y'all want a fun time? Come down here and hang out with the guys. Get a chance of some of these freaks that don't happen all the time. But you know what? For somebody who says it don't happen all the time, can you do four of them within 24 hours? I don't think so. It's so, we're proud pretty, of it. I'm telling you what, what a hunt. It's an epic hog hunt from 704 Outdoors, you guys. Check them out, Two River Hunting Adventures. You'll see them on their Facebook. You can also get links to their guide service from our website. You'll see this on the Hunt Channel the website after it airs on TV. So uh, again, check it out. And uh, you want to book a hunt, you got to call Cassie or Chris and get to Oklahoma. I'm telling you, get to Oklahoma. And again, we want to thank everybody with 704 Outdoors for coming out here and giving us this opportunity as well. Yeah, but we couldn't have done this without them taking a chance and a risk driving mm -hmm. What, 1,900 miles? <laughs> or 1,100 miles? It was a ride. It was a ride. 17 hours. They drove yeah, 17, 17 hours. 17 hours. But. And uh, that, was a, that was a risk for them and their self. They didn't, they didn't know exactly what they were getting into, but I'm, I'm glad that we could show them what we were able to do here. And 
We'll be back. We definitely will be back. We will be back. Boys. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. Well, y'all, we're wrapping up an epic hog hunt here with uh, two rivers hunting adventures. I'm hanging out with old Lane here. This is a red river. And uh, the other one, what'd you call it again? Blue River. The Blue River's over there, and they both meet past here, and that's why it's called Two Rivers. And, uh, man, it's beautiful out here. Our campsite is actually right right there on the other side. So, so you come out here and fish, hang out. Awesome alligator gar, catfish. Um, wish we could stay a little bit longer. We'd been able to uh, enjoy all that, but we'll definitely make sure our next trip we have a little bit of spare time. So, what a sight. For the last two weeks, no one's been home. Yeah, she's through with me Tell the truth, I just can't see What's kept a woman holding on this long And the wild line's getting longer And the saddle's getting cold I'm much too young to feel this damn old all my cards are on the table with no ace left in the hole. Lord, I'm much too young to feel this damn old.